My bees are really working on the flow frames now, and they're quickly filling them up. Many of the cells are already capped, though the center still needs some work. I'll have to wait a bit longer before harvesting. I gotta make sure the entire frame is capped. Luckily, my cosmos are still blooming, and my goldenrod is just starting, so there's plenty of nectar nearby. Unfortunately, there's also been a recent development with the Flow Hive team. As many of you know, I had some concerns with the unsolicited advice their representative gave me about my hives. The advice suggested removing one of my full brood boxes to encourage my bees to move up into the flow frames. It's advice that no responsible beekeeper would follow. Recently, the Flow Hive team reached out privately, but their response seemed more focused on defending the advice rather than acknowledging the mistake. They said, if we missed the mark this time, we're sorry. The key word here is if. There's no if about it. They did miss the mark, and it's important to be clear on that. This wasn't about a minor misunderstanding or difference in opinion. It was about offering advice that could have seriously harmed my colony. Throughout the conversation, they kept framing the situation around personal preferences in beekeeping, as if the advice might work in some other context. Yes, maybe if my second box had been empty, or if I was trying to downsize a small colony, the advice might have been appropriate. But that wasn't the case here. I clearly explained that my two deep boxes were 90% full, and reducing the hive size would have caused overcrowding and risk swarming. Instead of admitting that the advice was bad for my situation, they kept defending it like it might work in some other case, which totally misses the point. Cedar Anderson, the founder of Flowhive, even chimed in, but his response only reinforced my concerns. He first said, it seems like the suggestion to reduce the hive size to speed up filling the flow frames was the key point of concern. I clarified to him that the urgency wasn't about filling the plastic flow frames. My concern was that my bees were not accepting the plastic frames. The convenience of harvesting honey or even filling the super wasn't my top priority. My main focus was making sure my bees had enough space for their growing population. He then suggested the advice was taken out of context and implied that as an experienced beekeeper, I should have known better than to follow it. Specifically, he said, being an experienced beekeeper, of course you know how to manage your colonies and would never leave brood out of a hive. And you also know how to manage your colonies in regard to swarm mitigation. Essentially gaslighting me. It felt like he was saying, yes, the advice was bad, but since you're experienced, you should have known not to follow it. As if the blame was on me for not recognizing the advice was harmful. I then specifically told him that I never asked for advice from his company in the first place. I had already figured out a solution on my own. The real issue was, again, the unsolicited and potentially harmful advice given by his rep. Despite having been given all the specific details of my situation, their rep still advised to remove one of the full boxes, remove the honey frames, condense the brood into one, and put the empty super back on top to encourage the bees to move into the flow frames. In Cedar's email, he also mentioned that beekeeping has many variables, and while this suggestion might help with speed, there are other factors to consider such as managing brood and excess honey frames. Yes, that's true, but the issue here, again, is that I had already provided all those details and factors to consider to his rep. There was no ambiguity in my situation. So I asked for clarification on how, with all the details I gave, their rep thought removing a full box of brood and honey was good advice. Unfortunately, I still haven't received a clear explanation. Now, on the same day I was emailing back and forth with Cedar, someone messaged me and informed me that the Flow Hive was liking comments attacking my character on their page. From the interactions I've had with their social media team to the advice provided by their support team, and now even in communication with Cedar, it seems to me that there are issues throughout the entire company. Flow Hive repeatedly sidesteps responsibility, fails to properly address concerns, and in this case even engages in behavior that I found immature and unprofessional. They often refer to themselves as a small group of people trying to do their best, but if that's true, how is it that this small group continues to miss the mark, from the bottom to the top, on such a basic level of customer service? It's one thing to make a mistake, but it's another to deflect and dismiss the legitimate concerns of a customer, while also engaging in personal attacks on social media. During this whole situation, I've heard from so many other beekeepers who've had similar experiences with the Flowhive's customer service. One beekeeper even said, Flowhive is notoriously known for its poor handling of anything that could be seen as a negative feedback or criticism. From my experience, I have to agree with that assessment. They've shown that they care more about defending themselves than addressing the concerns of their customers. Now, despite my negative experience with the Flowhive team, I'm still rooting for the hive itself. With some adjustments, it seems to be working okay, and my bees are up in the flow frames. Moving forward, I plan to continue my full review of the Flowhive, completely unaffiliated, because I haven't even gotten to the whole purpose of this hive, 
their invention of harvesting honey directly from the honey super. So I'm done expecting anything from the Flow Hive team. I think I have a clear understanding of how they operate. Now I just want to get back to focusing on what really matters, taking care of my bees. Hopefully I'll be able to show you all how to harvest honey from this hive later this month.